if any one of us could at this moment be as one about to die, genuinely and honestly, we would understand the mystery of life. Because death is the source of life. Just as we see in nature, when the leaves fall from the trees, they mold and rot, and this supplies humus from which more plants can grow. It's a cycle life. But in every way, symbolic and otherwise, human beings try to stop that cycle. It is not, therefore, natural for us to wish to prolong life indefinitely. But we live in a culture where it has been rubbed into us in every conceivable way that to die is a terrible thing. And that is a tremendous disease from which our culture in particular suffers. And we notice it firstly in the way in which death is swept under the carpet. When one gets to an extreme, that is to say, to the point where you realize that there is nothing you can do about life, nothing you could not do about life, then you're the mosquito biting the iron bull. Well, so in the same way, he said, look, you heard a bomb coming at you. You could hear it whistle and you knew it was right above you and headed straight at you and that you were finished and you accepted it. And suddenly there was a strange feeling that everything is absolutely clear. You suddenly see that there isn't a grain of dust in the whole universe that's in the wrong place. That you understand completely, absolutely, totally what it's all about. Because you can't say what it is. So you see, this is always the opportunity presented by death. That if one can go into death with eyes open and have somebody help you, if necessary, to give up before you die. This extraordinary thing can happen to you. So that from your standpoint, in that position, at that time, you would say, I wouldn't have missed that opportunity for the world. Now I understand why we die. The reason we die is to give us the opportunity to understand what life's all about by letting go, because then we come to a situation that the ego can't deal with. When we are no longer hypnotized by that, then our natural consciousness can see clearly what all this universe is for. So therefore, we have missed this golden opportunity by institutionalizing death out of the way, instead of having a socially understood acceptance of death and rejoicing in death. To be important, existence does not have to go on any longer than a moment. Quantitative continuity is of no value. Who said you're supposed to survive? Who gave you the idea that it's a gas to go on and on and on? And we can't say that it's a good thing for everything to go on living from the very simple demonstration that if we enable everybody to go on living, we overcrowd ourselves. That we're like an unpruned tree. We can also look further into it and see that if our death could be indefinitely postponed, we would not actually go on postponing it indefinitely. Because after a certain point, we would realize that that isn't the way in which we wanted to survive. Why else would we have children? Because children arrange for us to survive in another way. By, as it were, passing on a torch so that you don't have to carry it all the time. There comes a point where you can give it up and say, now you work. 
It's a far more amusing arrangement for nature to continue the process of life through different individuals than it is always with the same individual. Because as each new individual approaches life, life is renewed. And one remembers how fascinating the most ordinary everyday things are to a child. Because they see them all as marvelous because they see them all in a way that is not related to survival and profit. And when we get to thinking of everything in terms of survival and profit value, as we do, then the shapes of scratches on the floor cease to have magic. And most things, in fact, cease to have magic. So therefore, in the course of nature, once we have ceased to see magic in the world anymore, we are no longer fulfilling nature's game of being aware of itself. There's no point in it anymore. And so we die. And so something else comes to birth, which gets an entirely new view. And so nature's self-awareness is a game worth the candle.